Do you want to know how you can get invisible item frames in Minecraft? Yes, this is indeed a resource pack. This is the only way you can currently do it in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but I'm going to actually show you how you do it. So I'm going to show you how you make the resource pack slash texture pack. So you can integrate this into any pack you want, any resource pack or texture pack you want. So you don't necessarily have to download your own I invisible item frames. You can make it into the pack you want, or you can already just start from scratch and make it yourself. But anyway. What you're going to need to do is make a little folder with three little items in one pack underscore icon for the picture of your pack, one manifest and one block JSON like this. Now the manifest is basically if you're going to add it into a resource pack or texture pack, you don't need to worry about this. But if you're making your very own, you'll need to worry about a few things in here. So you're going to get this and you're going to change the description to whatever you want. Same with the name. And then in the modules, you can also change that if you very want. But what's very important is the UUID. Now, I would recommend getting a very random UUID and paste it in those two places here and here, just so that you don't conflict with any other resource packs that may be using the same UUID. Now, a very simple way to do that is simply searching up online UUID generator and just copying whatever you see there and to get a new UID you can just simply refresh and you get a new one and then you simply just paste it in here very simple now once that is done you might be asking where did I get all these different icons or that well that's very simple Minecraft Minecraft allows you to download these vanilla resource packs straight from the website if you, you might have to find it but just search up vanilla resource pack Minecraft and you can find it and you can just simply copy pack icon manifest and blocks and then just paste it into your very own folder like I did here and then you're good to go now with those two out of the way let's go to the important one which is the block JSON pack now you might see there's a lot of different blocks that are in here we're only going to care about two so we can delete the rest to find the two that we actually care about you can simply use a trick control f and this allows you to search your file now as you can see i already have frame in here and that's to allow us to find the item frame now there's a lot of frames so let's skip past the end portal stuff and there you go we have found the item frame right here it's called frame now let's copy the format version and all the way down here like so and we're going to actually press control x or cut it and paste it at the very bottom of the folder just for convenience sake so we're going to go over here past here and then we're just going to paste it like that let's, let's just make it a bit neater like there and now we need to find the glow item frame so let's just simply search up glow underscore frame like so and that should allow us to find the glow item frame right there let's just copy that like control x and we're going to paste it at the bottom after this one so after that comma there we're going to paste it let's add another space there just to make it look a little more neat and we're going to get rid of this final comma here because we don't want it to continue now the final thing we want to do before we delete is go all the way out the top and just simply cut that that little open squiggly bracket and let's go down and paste it below right here now obviously you could just type it out you didn't have to go and copy and paste it, but I just did anyway. I don't know why. So let's just go here, highlight there and scroll all the way up and just hold shift and select the rest and then delete it. Oh, I see. I accidentally copied the item frame that we want. So let's just take that away from there. So let's copy from here and scroll back up and select that and delete it. Now we have exactly what we want we should actually move this to up here but there you have it that's exactly what we want we have the item frame and the glow item frame now to actually change how the item frame functions in minecraft we're going to add a new quote unquote argument here so let's do the quotation marks block shape like so and we add another squiggly mark a uh, colon like so and make it nice and spaced and finally another quotation mark and we're gonna type in visible like so just make sure you spell it correct i n v l okay just make sure you spell invisible correctly and let's highlight that and let's copy and paste it underneath the glow item frame as well now what we're gonna also need to do is put a little comma after there same with here 
let's do that and this completes your resource pack it should be working perfectly fine so let's save that now hopefully i didn't make any mistakes but that is indeed possible so let's just hope and let's close out of there go back to our files and now we just simply copy this folder and go where your minecraft files are located now there are many videos out there on how to find this place just find it for yourself and go into your development resource packs i highly recommend pasting it in here just because it is in development and allows it much more frequently updated so there we go we have custom invisible item frames pasted in here and now we just simply need to reload minecraft now to show you that i don't have any resource pack enabled on this world let's just go back into this world and show that the item frames are normal there's no invisibility on them yet so let's exit out here and go into our resource pack which should be newly imported so let's go down here and scroll down as you can see i only have those inactive and over here we have the new resource pack called invis item frames scub so let's activate that it should be working exactly as intended so let's activate it and simply go into the world again now let's hope i haven't made a dumb mistake it does happen sometimes so once we load in the world we'll see if it indeed worked as you can tell it did a hundred percent work you can tell that the item frames are there you can see the highlight and there is a diamond in the middle so we can just paste as many invisible item frames as we want around the area which i think is amazing and this allows you to integrate it into any pack you want or make a brand new pack from scratch so isn't that wonderful so i hope you did enjoy the download link to this resource pack if you want to use mine and just copy and paste it into your own resource pack it's up to you will be in our discord you just hop onto our discord and ask for it and i will link it to you and such so if you want to do it that way the discord will be linked in the description down below but other than that i hope you did enjoy leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye